Welcome ladies and gentlemen to one of many Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 challenges that we will be bringing to our channel over the next few weeks and this challenge is the standard variant challenge okay guys so before I actually mention too much about it all I'm going to tell you is that I'm going to try and jump into a game of team deathmatch and start it when I've got a fresh whole game just so I can play a whole game without having to jump into a game that's already done like halfway through and I end up losing it anyway. So I will see you in a game. Alright guys, I found a fresh match. Alright, so you're probably thinking, what is the standard variant challenge or the SVC? So it's just a standard Plants vs Zombies challenge where you've got to pick any standard variant character, whether it be on the zombies or the plants, and challenge your friends to see how many kills you can get in one game of Team Vanquish. Now, I'm going to openly challenge this to anyone, whether it be other YouTubers, your friends, my friends, any of our subscribers or viewers, and if you want or if you do do this challenge, leave how many kills you got and with what variant in the comment section down below but I'm just going to be going through each of the standard variants for this challenge series and seeing how many kills I can get for my team vanquish or on team vanquish with the character variants I do use which is also the standard ones I'm just mixing up my words now so I'm aiming to get as many kills as I possibly can now I've picked a foot soldier to start off with just because he's a, an all right like overall standard character like he's not got too much he's got really good abilities he's got a really good sort of survivability and he's got a really good Good fast fire rate so overall I believe he's gonna give me a lot of fairly decent kills and hopefully there we go we're already on free already on free and I picked team vanquish as well guys rather than vanquish confirmed because it's the most standard like variant game mode if that makes sense with turf wars obviously relies on how well your team is or well, not how well your team is because each game mode has a team but it relies on how much your team pushes the garden and graveyard whether you capture it and obviously if you capture it you got more rounds to do more kills it's just a little unfair so oh, I should have waited to be revived then it's the same with vanquish confirmed obviously you have to pick up the orbs to get the kills so you could just go around getting loads and loads of kills and not picking up the orbs whereas with team vanquish every kill you count towards winning the match so they generally last the same amount of length there's no advantage or disadvantage and pretty much that's the, yeah, that's the only reason why I guess but other, and other than the sort of the character variants I picked standard variants just because overall the standard variants are a lot harder to use than the, like say the fire variants or the ice variants obviously freeze people burn people then you've got like the other variants that are just like deadly accurate like the camo soldier or captain shark bite whereas the standard variants are just sort of like the lower tier variants of each class but you, you can still get kills with them obviously now I'd like to mention that there's gonna be some variants I get a lot more kills with than others like I'm gonna get a lot more kills with this foot soldier than I am say with captain dreadbeard or anyone like that easy kill there easy kill fantastic let's try and take it. I think that was old man gamer texting me as well if you could not hear in the background but yeah I hope you guys do enjoy this challenge it is a lot of fun so I'm trying to see how many kills I can get with each standard character variant and I wonder who's going to come out on top as well with either the zombies or the plants so I would say that the zombies would be a lot more easier to use as the standard variants just because they've got guns over say like the pea shooters or the plants they've got like that physically like shooting out of their mouths and to me I find it a lot more accurate shooting with a gun or it feels a lot more accurate. Obviously, it has absolutely no difference whether you're shooting with the corns, corn hubs, or the pea shooters, pea shooter mouth, or whatever. But I just prefer shooting out of a gun. I feel like it's more towards me. I play a lot of um, first-person shooters, okay? So shooting out of a gun, and the zombies are just, I like overall a lot better. So I thought I'd start off with them. But I feel that a lot of the plants are actually going to fare up a lot better than most of the zombies. For the pure fact that... Oh, come on. How did we not get him? How did we not get him? There he is. Shoot his feet, shoot his feet. Oh, we've got the kill in the end. Fantastic. But yeah, I feel like the plants will actually end up victorious in this. Just because of like the, the health of the corn and like... Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no. Nah, this is going to end us. This is going to end us good. Oh, no, we survived. We survived with one health. And then I got merch. We're on six so far. We're on six. I wonder if any of the other variants will match up to what we've what we've done so far. We're only 20 points left. Only 20 points left. I'm just trying to put into hindsight as well what character I want to use next. Like... The shrimpy lasers would be good, like the imp shrimpy. The imp lasers would be good, but then the small health on the imp made me I'm dying a lot, so I'm not getting as many kills as I am with other characters. Or I could, as I said, use the corn. He's got a fast fire rate, a lot of health, so he may be a really good character to use. Don't think you can flank around to the left, buddy. Don't think you can just flank around to the Why are you hiding? Come on. Oh, direct hit. Another easy kill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Plus. No. Oh, oh, that's so lucky. We were being attacked by a corn thing. Oh, he's here. He's here. No. The cheek. The cheek. Oh, he sacrificed himself. He's like, nah, boys. Nah, there's too many zombies. I'm going. I'm going off the edge. I'm going to go cliff diving. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. But the plants have almost won it. The plants have almost won it. Even though it's not the goal of today's video, the plants have almost won it. Oh, all right. Come on. We need to at least get one more kill in. One more kill just to boost our score for the challenge a little bit more. Can we snipe anyone from up here? Come on. Just a shared vanquish would boost it enough. They're trying to aim for the Citron. Come on. Oh, oh, we got the Citron shield destroyed. God, that's a tongue twister. We got the Citron shield destroyed, but it wasn't enough. Oh, come on. Hit him. Hit the corn. Hit the corn. Oh, the corn. The long distance ZBG from across the map. Get Rex scrub. Oh, unfortunately, the plants did win it. But that, that ZPG was one for the ages. Oh. B E A beautiful. Oh, honestly, that was a ZPG to be remembered. But guys, what did we end up on? A, a nice like fiddy corn top performance there. I like it. I like it. Barbecue corn, obviously being the best. And we came top of our team with eight kills, guys. So for our next standard variant, we have to try and beat eight kills. If you did enjoy this challenge, be sure to leave a like down below. If you are social, be sure to follow us or like us on Facebook with the links in the description down below as well. And of course, if you want to see more of these challenges or just more Plants vs Zombies footage, be sure to subscribe to our channel. But until next time, guys, get on this challenge, see how many kills you can get, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!